So there's some interesting and exciting things that are playing out in the Shiba Inu charts right now that I want to discuss with you guys. It seems like right now the roof is on fire and I'm not talking like, oh yeah, the roof is on fire. I'm talking, oh, the roof is on fire. We're not going anywhere near that. Okay. That's what, that's what SHIB price is essentially doing right now. These top trend lines that have played out for a very long period of time. I'm talking about the 50 day moving average. I'm talking about this descending top of this, this falling wedge that we've had since the height of the bull market cycle. We're not anywhere near that right now. We're not sticking close to those ranges, but that's fine. All right. We know that we were going to come down. We knew that we were going to test some of these levels and actually the SHIB charts are playing out exactly as we expected. It's the reason I drew out these trend lines a while ago. I started uh, drawing out this falling trend back in late August. And obviously we're now in late September. We're continuing this downtrend. I started charting out this sideways action early September. We're continuing to follow that almost to a T, which is very, very cool. Now, SHIB price has obviously a lot of support in this 5072 range. You can see it's tapped it a couple times. It's turned around. It doesn't really want to dive into there. In fact, you know, the only time we may have had an opportunity to dip into this fire sale was September 11th and September 12th. Now, there is something interesting playing out that I had actually noticed just before starting to make this video, and that's that we actually are in a little bit of an uptrend in terms of SHIB price. Again, since the 11th, we have actually been creating higher lows, all right? Now, at the same time, we're not necessarily creating higher highs. We're kind of stalling out around that 5075 range. So that is something that we have to contend with and break. But at the same time here, we I can see why we're having some troubles. This 20 day moving average is falling down here. And it looks like at some point here, we're gonna have to make a decision by late September. That may be where SHIB does in fact go and try to test these, these top of the trend lines. It tries to climb through that burning roof to see if we can actually gain a little momentum. Obviously, there's still several things that are coming into play. We obviously have the PCE report later this month. No GDP, no uh, CPI, no FOMC meeting until next month. So we, we have some time to wait there. But right now, across the broader crypto market, I will say, obviously, BTC is not showing a crazy amount of strength right now. It's dropped back into the mid-26 range. It is consolidating there. But right now, SHIB is gaining a little ground back, which is a great sign. We're, we're kind of stuck with the broader crypto market, but we're, we're showing really good support down at these levels. And it really has to do with there's not a lot of people that want to sell their SHIB here. And I don't blame them, right? This is where I'm buying. Whales have, have for the most part, built their bags. They're ready to go. People are ready to go for the bull market. And obviously, once that kicks in, we'll obviously see what kind of FOMO happens with SHIB because obviously this, this you know, 2023 has been kind of a down and depressed time for SHIB. I mean, realistically, we've only gotten back to about, what, uh, down 80% from the heights of the bull market cycle. So we still have a ways to go. But the good thing is there are some positive shines, signs showing good support for SHIB increased adoption in terms of new users. And obviously if Shibarium, you know, if the devs end up getting their heads out of their butts, we can, uh, we can get something going there as well. So appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but I hope you have a great start to your weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.